stampers welcome to watch it weekly wednesday i'm jill i'm going to show you this fun idea using the medley mix stamp set and the inked and tile punch it's a package of two punches so let me show you how that works if you notice there's stamps right here that will make your quilt plus little stitches and little x's and a zigzag I'm going to use my piercing mat and a three and a half by three and a half inch square to make my quilt. The colors I'm also stamping with are real red and garden green. Now the cool thing about these is I'm going to go ahead and use this square and it's going to help me design the quilt really easily. So I'm going to take this square one and you notice that it's got a little square. So we're going to go ahead and line that up with the square on the bottom and just stamp in. It's okay if it goes off of the paper. I'm going to do the other corner, line that up, and stamp. Turn it around, and we're going to repeat that same step there and right here. And also in the center. So I'm going to take the two corners meet matching the other two corners and we're going to connect our quilt blocks. Awesome. Now we're going to go with the cross on this design and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that on the bottom and this is photopolymer so you can see where you're stamping which is amazing to line up. Can't you see it already looking like a quilt? It's got the pattern going on. Love it. And of course I'm using Christmas colors because it's getting to be that time of year. And I love red and white. There we've got that. Now if you notice there are four spots right there that are white. So I'm going to come back in with the garden green and go ahead and connect those with our pattern all the way around. And then we have more of a complete quilt. Okay, you've got also two stamps of stitching. And I want to go ahead and use the Memento ink black pad to kind of show the stitching on these quilts. So I'm going to stamp it right down here, make sure I've got it all inked up. And then you can also look at your the photopolymer to be able to see where you need to stamp that. And over here we've got another one. Now you don't have to do the stitching at all unless you want it to show. But it kind of makes it a little more homespun to show the stitching, I think. i got one more on this, and then we've also got the little X to do. Go ahead and stamp that down and make sure I've got it inked. These are designed like a two-step so you can actually see where you're stamping. Now to give our um, quilt texture. You can take any kind of folder that has texture to it. I like to use something that's pretty close in design. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your quilt piece in there to get that design and run it through the stamp and cut and emboss machine. So I'm going to run that through. Let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And I went ahead and did even another step on this when I put this on before I ran it through. And it also gives the texture for that quilt right on the designer series paper. So this one's just a square quilt. You can also make a rectangular quilt just the same way. We just keep on going down. All right, the next one I'm going to use is the designer series paper, and we're going to make a quilt the same size. The only difference is you're going to start with, instead of white, you're going to start with designer series paper. I'm going to use the designer series paper that comes in the mini catalog, and it's the, called the Joy of Christmas. And I'm just using these kind of gingham look for this. So we're not going to be using the stamps this time unless you want to put the stitching in. 
So this is the only punch I'm going to use for this one. We're just going to lay it on top. So I'm going to go ahead and punch out five of these to go on our quilt. And you can decide if you want them to be exact by lining up the lines. It's up to you. They don't have to be exact. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these down and I'm going to go ahead and adhere these pieces, the five of them, and I'm just going to put the adhesive, you know, just an X on the adhesive on that piece. So we're going to line these up in the corners, just kind of like we did with the stamps. I'm going to go ahead and put the adhesive on this and just kind of do it, dot it around. Now you can either turn it this way or do it the same as the other one is. And I'm going to do it the same and just line these up in the corners. That's why using the three and a half by three and a half piece works really good for this look because it's already been figured out for the actual item that you're going to be putting together, regardless of stamping or get or punching out. Okay, we're going to do this in the corner again and just line it up and then here in the middle. Look how good that looks with all the corners touching each other. So voila, you've got a quilt right there. So I'm going to run this through with my folder on the Stamping Cut and Emboss Machine to give it the texture on your quilt. Here is a card right here that has that texture and you'll notice that it's already on there and so it gives it that little pop of giving it that texture. Here's another one done with the same look and I just use foil instead of designer series paper. And here's one with a pattern that has like little gold through it. If you like this quilted idea, make sure that you get this stamp set right away, the medley mix and the punch packet because this is going to be gone at the end of the year. Hope you've enjoyed watching this on Watch It Weekly Wednesday. We'll see you next time.